so we just got back from Durham town. Uh, we had a week there, rode our first time there. Uh, it was the first time taking the Kodiak on a real trail ride after the break-in period. Um, I'd really recommend the place. I mean, it was my first time there, Scarlett and I, and uh, I mean, we really enjoyed it a whole lot. Um, you know, it's, it was about a six hour drive for us, but you know, it was worth it, uh, you know, to be able to go down there. And, you know, you need a, a couple of days at least to, to be able to, you know, see everything in, in the full entirety, because it's, it's 6,000 acres and 150 miles of trails. We ended up staying in two different cabins, one cabin the first half of the week and another cabin the latter half because the uh, first cabin we were in was booked for the latter part of the week. So uh, we had to just kind of move our stuff, you know, across the way to another cabin, you know, not really a big deal. But, um, you know, both, play, both cabins we stayed in were real nice, very clean. Uh, they have an own staff uh, housekeeping crew, you know, that, um, come through and clean the cabins after each group of people stay in there. So each one we were in was really clean. I mean, a lot cleaner than some of your fancier hotel rooms you would stay in. But, um, but as far as the trails and everything and the riding goes, I mean, that was just, it was like one of the best places I've been. I mean, you know, so far, uh, it was, you know, for, for somebody who really likes to do trail riding, and that's that's what you like to do, and you like to be able to, to, to build up a little speed while you're trail riding, generally speaking, um, it that's the place for you. I mean, it, the only complaint I had while we were there, it was dusty. I mean, you know, but it's, you know, it's the middle of summer, it's hot, it's bone dry down that way, you know, and it's, red dirt red clay down there you know when it gets dry it just gets real dusty you know um, so really I mean that'd be the only complaint I have uh, it's best you I can tell is definitely less busy during the weekdays so if you want to go during the week and avoid you know uh, most of the people weekdays you know the time to do it you know Fridays when people start rolling in um, and, and then, of course, you know, Saturday is definitely, you can tell, gets a lot busier as well. So, um, but, you know, there's something down there for everybody. I mean, there's, you know, you, you know, there are some trails in which you do have to slow down and they're more technical. And then, like I said, then there's a lot of them where you can, you can do 10 miles an hour or better. I mean, like, generally speaking, 10 mile an hour will be your minimum speed. Um, 15, 20, you know, depending on what you're riding, you may even, I mean, even go faster than that, you know, it just depends on how comfortable you are with it and all, and, you know, it's, it's just a lot of fun, I mean, really, really fun place to ride, you know, they got a, a mechanic on duty every day, they got a pro shop with gear and supplies, they got a restaurant down there, and they got a lodge as well, and, um, you know, it, uh, and they also rent units, like they'll rent side-by-sides, -side dirt bikes, and ATVs. Um, but uh, it, it's just like, a, it's, a, it's a very well laid out place, very well maintained. The trails are maintained constantly, you know. Uh, I Just about every day we were there, we could tell where the dozer or some other piece of machinery had went down a certain path, you know, during the, the after hours, you know, it's basically from about 9 to 5 p.m. And at 5 p.m. they cut the trails off, they close them. And the, um, we could tell where the equipment had went in there and done, you know, made, you know, repairs, so to speak, you know, on the trail, rutted out spots, you know, or there were trees down, things like that. They go in there, they move that stuff out of the way. And like I said, it's 6,000 acres, so they've got 150 miles of trails right now. And the way I understand that they're all the time adding more, you know, uh, designing and adding more trails. 
as time goes along. So, and they got a lot of campsites too, RV hookups as well, as well as cabins, things like that. It was, uh, I think we rode, it was somewhere around 220 miles total we logged from the time we got there to the time we left on a trip meter. So, um, you know, naturally we, we rode, you know, some trails more than once, you know, um, but it's just a really neat place though. I mean, like I said, I'd highly recommend it to anybody. They have a Jeep park where you can take, they can take Jeeps out to it, but that's separate from the ATVs and side-by-sides and dirt bikes. And it just, it works better that way. And when the trucks and Jeeps make ruts, it makes it harder on the dirt bike and ATV riders, you know, negotiating some of the ruts because they get really bad. And, you know, like I said, the Kodiak, it did great. I had a blast on it out there, you know. It, uh, this is a, a lot of fun to ride, you know. And having a machine, you know, that has got, um, got good suspension and you know good uh, power to weight ratio and all that it really shines out there you know because you're able to you're able to build up speed you know ride it in a sporty way um, and it was hot too I mean it was like most days were minimum of 95 degrees with a heat index of a hundred you factor in the humidity as well and um, you know uh, didn't have any problems, you know, with it overheating or anything like that uh, on either machine. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, like I said, though, it's a lot of fun riding out there, you know, and we'll definitely be trying to go back as soon as we can. Like I said, it's, it's a six-hour drive one way for us, so, you know, it has to be, you have to plan a trip down there. It's not like you just up and decide where I'm gonna just hop down and go, you know, at the spur of the moment. You, you gotta do a little more planning. Than and so they also have a lot of uh, motocross tracks that have been professionally designed down there. So for people who like to ride dirt bikes or sport quads, that kind of thing, and you know, you like to do the jumps, I mean, they got it's some really professional set up tracks down there. I mean, you know, like you, stuff kind of like you see on TV, you know, when you watch the competitions and all. And they've got, I don't, I don't know how many of them it is. It's uh, probably at least five or more different tracks. I know they, and they even have a side-by-side -side track for racing on. I think they call that the turbo track. And um, they had one track that was allowed uh, for ATVs to go on. I took the Kodiak here on it. Scarlett took the Rancher on it too. We made a few laps around it and uh, it was called the GP track. I'm guessing it stands for like Grand Prix track. And I, it was at the end of the day and there wasn't nobody else out there. And we, you know, just went out there and kind of goofed off, you know. And you build up a lot of speed out there. Naturally, I mean, if you were really um, up for it, I mean, you could catch some big air on some of the jumps. But, uh, but it was just fun going out there and goofing off. And then, you know, as long as there isn't some kind of competition going on out there or whatever you know um, and it you know you're allowed to take your machine out there I mean each thing has signs on it telling what's allowed what's not you know based on what you're riding they have mud pit pits uh, scattered throughout and uh, they also have a drag strip which we uh, played around with the drag strip a little bit drag strip really couldn't couldn't build up much speed above 35 miles an hour because it, it hadn't been graded uh, smooth recently uh, while we were there so it's kind of a little choppy so you know about 35 miles an hour is about all you kind of felt safe getting up to you know where you didn't want to lose control of the machine but like I said we were just out there goofing off having fun and uh, that's open you know for anybody to go on and play around Yeah, it was it was really a neat place. I know we'll definitely go back. We're going to include some highlights from our videos uh, for you guys to watch. Uh, in the meantime, while we're working on editing um, the uh, full ride videos, which will be coming up soon, got to have time to edit them now. But uh, there'll be some highlight clips we'll include on in this video that you can check.
check out from the trip. And, uh, but stay tuned. And thanks for watching. <laughs>